This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-250 crew cab. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel four-wheel drive. It's a Lariat, which means it's leather, and it's an FX4 package, which means it's got the uh, Ford factory installed Rancho suspension package, which is what FX4 is. It's an upgraded suspension. This thing has 63,000 miles. Beautiful truck. It's on a clear title. It's a theft recovery purchased directly from uh, an insurance company in California. Actually, it was in San Diego. And all we've done to this thing is there was a like a fist sized push in dent right below the driver tail light. And normally I wouldn't even fix that stuff, but on this truck it was it's just too nice a truck to let that happen. So I sent it over there and I think we paid. $500 to have a real paint shop, really good paint shop, not Mako, good shop, uh, paint it and uh, pull that out. Anyway, they did that and uh, now we're where we're at. Nice truck. I'm going to walk around, show you the flaws more so than the uh, positives. The positives speak for themselves. That's the uh, factory suspension that's put on. That's what makes it a uh, FX4, the Rancho suspension. That is not aftermarket, that's put on at Ford. Okay. The top, this bumper cover right here, has a little bit of a fading to it. At some point you may want to have somebody spray that, but uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it too much. So, a little raw chip here. Right there is probably the biggest blemish on the truck. Obviously, a little silver touch-up paint, and that would about 95% go away. Just came back from detail. The clouds are moving in. This coming in here, and uh, I think we're going to get some rain today, so I kind of want to hurry up and get this done before it's uh, too late and it's dirty. It's always a good thing when I'm pointing out the rock chips. <laughs> there. Basically about five minutes with a touch-up, $8 or $9 touch-up paint would probably <laughs> do the trick here. Uh, almost always means when you don't see a bunch of when you don't see a bunch of dings like right here on the plastic it means that they didn't tow because everyone runs their trailer hitch into the plastic the bumper looks fine so probably a vehicle that wasn't towing anything little spots of road paint or something here again a little spot of touch up paint on those You'd be good to go. You have a brand new spare. The tow package. The dent was right here. There will be before and after pictures so you can see it. Even in the before pictures, it's hard to see, but it was basically right where my finger is and it was pushed in about that far. Someone backed into something. I just couldn't couldn't do that. So we so when they painted that, they paint this area and they put a new sticker on, new FX4 sticker on. The tires all the way around are BFG all terrains, and they look to be probably 50% tread. I don't think there's a need for them for another for tires for another 10,000 miles. I see a little ding right here. I don't know if you can see that in there video or not. What else? Yeah, we could use a little touch of paint right there. I don't know, I would say that uh, all that needs to be done is about 10 minutes and an $8 touch up paint. I'm going to start it and I'll open up the hood. I'll show you under the hood. You can listen to it run. You will also be able to See where all the Ford stamps are supposed to be on the uh, fenders and on the core support. 
That way you know it's all original parts and not repaired stuff. All right. There's your fourth stamp right here. The fourth stamp is right there. Board stamp is right between my fingers there. There's the smog sticker. There's the board stamp there. And there's the board stamp on the driver fender. Got an aftermarket air box. And that's pretty boring. I like boring. Boring means it's not a problem. All right, let me uh, make sure all the windows and doors are unlocked so I can do this. This is the driver rear window. Door panel looks perfect. And these seats are perfect. God, I love to see that. Make sure there's nothing to hide in there. did steal the overhead uh, whatever. It looks like they might have had a video in here. Uh, you see the screws right there? We had left it like that, but you could put a dome light in there. You could put whatever you wanted there. Uh, but it looks to me like somebody probably stole the video system out of it. That's the pass of your rear window. Pass your front door, window, power locks, both sides. Let's see, we got heated seats, light on, light off, that works. Let's see, power seat forward, back, full seat up, full seat down, rear seat down, rear seat up, that works. Front seat up, front seat down. All right, that works fine. The detail shop didn't do such a good job here. I'll be doing this one again, I think. Let's see. No manual. Oh, look at this. Yikes. Uh, it's always something. Some pretty crap. Look at the roof real quick, make sure that we have no surprises up there. And there's not, which is good. All right, driver window, passenger window, front window, passenger rear window, driver rear window, perfect. Door locks. Mirrors. Out, in, up, down. Other side. Out, in, up, down. Perfect. We got uh, power pedals. Let's see if they work. And the answer is no. Which means that there's a fuse out. I will look into it, but uh, assume that they're not going to work. Uh, if they will, that's a plus. Unless you're uh, a midget, I don't really think it matters, but whatever. That's up and back, there's down, up, down, up, full seat up, full seat down. Power the heated seats on and off. Everything looks fine. Fine. This truck is going to sell really quickly. We sold a salvage title theft recovery version of this truck. A little bit fewer miles. I think it had 51,000 miles. It sold for 21,000 in about nine minutes. So, yeah, these low mile ones are hard to get.
just a one night stand. Where that comes in your kiss, you look hot and go low. I care what you do. Oh, I know what's going on here. They stole the stand. Also stole those tweeters and all the door speakers. So we bought brand new door speakers and tweeters and a used radio for this. But obviously we didn't hook it up to the steering wheel controls. So the steering wheel controls don't work, but you have new tweeters and speakers in the front doors, no speakers in the back. If you want to add speakers, a hundred bucks and put the speakers in the back. Okay? Um, six disc changer, the air is blowing ice cold. Three thousand three hundred and thirty two miles. Let's see if I can get the systems check here. We've had it running for about an hour now, just sitting here, and it's about a hundred degrees already here in Tucson, mid September. There we go. That's that. Okay, let's see. Toe on and off. You can see the toe on, toe off. Let's see, power slider. There's the rear sliding window. All right, I'm gonna put it in reverse and check the uh, parking sensors to see if they work. Yep, I hear that working. Parking sensors work. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's put it into neutral, put it to four low. Four low, drive, reverse, perfect. Put it neutral, four high, now we're four high, put it drive, perfect, reverse, excellent, neutral, two wheel drive. Alrighty then, let's go for a ride. It's on a clear title, so if you come to Tucson to drive it home, uh, you're gonna have, all you're gonna pay is the uh, dock fee and taxes. Ta dock fee is two hundred fifty dollars. Taxes are two percent city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. Alaskans have a zero percent tax rate, which is probably why they fly down here all the time and drive home. Um, an Alaskan would pay a total of two percent tax and two hundred fifty dollar dock fee. Um, if your tax rate, for example, is three percent. Uh, then you're going to pay a total of 5% taxes and you're going to pay a $250 dock fee. Let me jump on this guy real quick. Watch it turbo, turbo. There's your turbo. And the brakes break. Um, anyway, so if you pay by wire, that's what, if you pay, come in person, that's what you're going to do. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price and nothing else. You won't pay dock fee and you won't pay shipping. Please make sure you get a deposit. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. And we will uh, put a little banner over the vehicle at our website at wheelk.com uh, with your name on it, thanking you, and uh, you'll know it's not for sale anymore. It's a nice truck. Really nice drive ride. Um, eBay people. Ford engineers. Just like Chevy and Dodge, I say this in the end of every video, it's not just this truck, so please watch all the videos to know that I say this on every single video now. Ford engineers, Chevy engineers, Dodge, Porsche engineers, all end their warranty at a certain mile and year. Why? Because they don't know what's going to happen to them. So why would I be expected to know? I have no idea what's going to happen to this vehicle in a month or a day or 10 years from now. So. If you want a new car, if you want that insurance of, 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 of you know, a warranty and a new car and knowing what's going to happen for sure tomorrow, even if your truck blows up, then you need a warranty. And this truck, probably at the Ford dealer, is going to run about $55,000. So please use the money you save by buying this vehicle and think about that uh, when you're buying it, that maybe you'll have to spend some on repairs. Okay? Thank you.